Welcome to Chewing the Cud. Well, hello there, you pretty thing. We have returned with your weekly roundup of showbiz news, a glimpse of things from the internet, and never to be neglected or ignored, yet another life lesson. And now it's time to say hello there to the man who is as loose as a goose and enjoys a gobble. It's Mike. I do like a gobble. Yes, especially food. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Nom, 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 nom. Don't give yourself um, indigestion, though. No, no, well, I've got tablets for that, haven't I? So, worst case scenario, I'll get heartburn, lie down in a darkened room, and get drunk. But yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I've been fumbling around the internet to bring you some juicy things for you to pop in and savour, including a story of why you might not see a goat while hiking. And I have some hot showbiz news, including the story about a veteran entertainer who's just come out. You can keep in touch with us on all the usual social media sites. Just search for at the Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us on a podcast, have a search for Chewing the Cud on your favourite podcast apps. And if you've interacted with us on social media, then have a look. You may see your name on screen. So having looked at the totals, I think we have an overall winner. Really? The, the, there is an overall winner? The winner takes it all. The loser has to fall. Game of the week. The producer is hosting a 1970s themed fondue party later today and has had to rush out to buy some breadsticks. He says that all his guests enjoy dipping the tip in and savouring a cheesy mouthful. He said he believes it will go down Gouda as if not, he may end up a little blue, and that's something he can unbear. Now, as he's so busy, he sent us a game of missing consonants. Do we get the first slide, please? So this one is queen, and we can only see the vowels. Okay, it's a queen song. Yes. Yes, it is a queen song. <laughs> Just some random thing yeah. the queen owns. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's coins. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Ooh. So. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, oh. What, 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 what is a consonant? So that's the letters that aren't E, aren't A, E, I, O, and U. Oh. Okay. Sometimes Y. Sometimes Y. If you're Welsh. Oh, okay. Um, I, I don't really know. I was thinking we will rock you, but then realised that the, the vowels only, are in the wrong place. But there's only two little words. It's also the vowels are in the wrong place, so you'd expect the second letter to be an E for me. Not the Bohemian Rhapsody, because that's too short. Mm. Puh. Puh. <laughs> Puh. I'm just kind of in the hope that. Radio word... Gaga. No, it can't be no. Radio Gaga. I'm just trying to think of Queen song. I am, but I can't think of any more. I want to break free. I want to break free. Fat bottom girls. Do, 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 do. Barcelona. That was Freddie Mercury, wasn't it? No, no. Hi, 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 hi. Um, I can't think of a. Cre uh, da, ba, da, da, da. Da, ba, da, 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 da. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to get this, we're are we? We're not going to get this one. So we both forfeit. Oh, what is it? Both no! You, did, you said it can't be Bohemian Rhapsody. Because there, was, there wasn't. There was. There was there wasn't. Even, there was no no letters. There was. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's the game of the. That's the game. Oh, so, oh uh, yeah. yeah. Dyslexia is nothing to laugh at. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have it. Okay, let's have another one. I know it. Relax. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know that that song came out the year I was born. Oh, nice. I actually know the year before I was born, sorry. The year before you were born. Mm. Okay. So is it relax? Yeah, shall we see? Is it relax? <laughs> yeah, I think we were established it. Yeah, with my aggressive outburst. <laughs> yeah, well done. You've got a Well point. done, me. Hurrah. Yeah. For a song that was before I was born. Um, should we get the next one up? Yeah, you still know it, though. Steamy Wonder. I just called to say I love you. I agree with you. It is right. Mm -hmm. you, weren't even, you weren't even conceived when that was sung was 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 released. When did it was when was it released? In the like late 70s, was it? Or early oh. 80s? 
I don't know, it's one of the first times I learned to play on the saxophone. All right, Lisa Simpson. So yes, it was. It right. was, it's yes. true, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yay me. What does it sound like in a saxophone? Like, I just called to say I love you. It's a song. Oh, oh. What do you think a saxophone is? Doctor <laughs> Wow. Well, okay. Should we move on? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, I could. No, it's not. No. It's not. <laughs> do you believe in life after love? No, it's not that either. Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. It's not that either. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying it's not Gypsies, Tramps and Thieves? No. I'm saying it is. It is Gypsies, Tramps and Thieves. No, you said no already. <laughs> you can't change. So I'm saying it's Gypsies, Tramps and, Th Tramps and Thieves after Lee said he's definitely not saying that. But I said it was Gypsies, Tramps and Thieves. And then you said But then wasn't. I didn't know if it was and Gypsies, then I said, Are you So you say that and you said no. So you said no. Because uh, you, you were fooling me of into giving the wrong that. answer. I was asking you what your final answer was. You changed your mind. Let's just see what it is. Oh, it is! Of thieves, yeah, me. Don't shout out, Lee. Don't shout out. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can shout out all you want. Just make sure that's your answer. Yeah. <laughs> and you're not going to say, no, it's not. And they go, no, it is. <laughs> Let's have another one. Go on, Coolio. Gangster's Paradise! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, <laughs> the face was enough there. <laughs> it was the difference between pride and rabbits ducking heads. Yeah. <laughs> well, I live to see. Oh, no, I was it? I was. I'm 23 now. Well, I live to see 24. I don't, I don't know. That's all I know of it. Shall we see? Shall we see if it's? Shall we one? see if it is? It is well done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, that's all the bit of it I know. Is it? Do you not even know that like the choral bit? Choral bit. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, he didn't sing that though, did he? No, he didn't, but it was his song. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we have another one? Oh, yeah, the rate this is going. Fast love. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Ooh. Judge Mark. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, you're taking too long. No, it's not ladies and gentlemen. You didn't have a song. That was a terrible album. This is a oh, song. Okay. No, let's, ju let's just think about this. Jesus to a child. No, it wasn't Jesus <laughs> to a child. See, he's making my brain hurt by saying things when I'm trying to oh, work well, I out. I guess it would be nice if I could love somebody. Oh, I don't know. Time's but it up. Oh! Yeah, let's whisper the old George Michael. Never going to dance yeah. again now. No. Guilty feet have got no rhythm. They haven't. No. Especially when they're driving into a side of the snappy snaps. Never let him live that down. He's dead. He, have to <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> he might do. <laughs> Are we having another one? Do we even know what the point situation is? I'm winning. Yeah, we'll have another one. Are you winning? Yeah. Okay. It's too old, which means I'm winning. Yeah, okay. <laughs> let's, let's see. Wallaby! <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> and, 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 and I apologise to everybody whose eardrums have just gone boom! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shall we have a look? Yeah. <sighs> mm. Mm. Now, quick question. Can, can you call down to the gallery for me and get them to bring up some tissues? connecting. Hi, gallery. Um, Mike um, would like some tissues. I don't know what they're for. Well, they're for you, that's the way you shouted wannabe. You got overexcited. Like. Oh, okay. I didn't jizz myself. Oh, did you not? No. Oh, your face didn't tell us that. Should we have another one up? I've seen my jizz face. Gangnam style! I don't know why. <laughs> I actually, when I scream it at you, it gives me like a slight bit, it gives me pleasure. That's why I asked for the tissues for you. <laughs> Not sexually, it just makes me feel like, like, yes. <laughs> is it that though? It is Kangam style. Oh, it is. Yeah. 
It's fun. In, in like real life out of the show, I'm just going to keep popping up and shouting things like that. <laughs> <laughs> should we check? For, should we check for points? Shall we? Shall we? You've got four points, mm -hmm. and I've got six. No, you haven't. <laughs> No, you... No, you haven't! <laughs> what happened? I just thought I'd make you angry again. I've got two points. Oh, and I've got six. You've got four. Okay, I still win. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. Anyway, keep counting down the minutes until we bring you another special life lesson. Now, hang on. Hold your horses. First, we have Lee with the showbiz news right after this. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we take a look at what he considers news, so cast your minds back 18 months as we join Lee for the showbiz. Words hurt, Mike. Do they? Mm -hmm. I've only got one thing to say to you. Is it hinkle, finkle, dinkle, do? Is that your safe word? <laughs> That's a very long safe word, hinkle, yep. hinkle, dinkle, do. Well, you know, yeah. I know you like him large. Anyway, let's, let's, let's talk some showbiz news. Okay. Okay. So, I, I know you love this person. Okay. Mariah. Oh, my God, why? why? Well, it's that time of the year where... Where we dust her off. We dust her off around. ready <laughs> for, for Christmas. Yeah, we, we take out all the packing foam from our, our nostril. Yeah. And so, once Halloween, is, once Halloween is over... Once the last sort of shriek of Halloween has is, is, is echoed away, mm. Mariah is ready. So what, what she does, uh, to be fair, I find this quite funny. Okay. So what she does is she, um, she took to her social media mm -hmm. and um, she kind of does this clip where she's dressed as Halloween and it goes like 11.59, 31st of October, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And she's dressed in Halloween, 12 o'clock. 1st of November, and she's dressed in Christmas stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. So she, she did this thing on, on Twitter where she um, had, like, a bit of a stalker in her house. She'd say it all. It wasn't a real stalker. Right, okay. So we've got some photos. So she's now paying people to stalk her. That's how desperate she is for fame. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so we've got some pictures of her. So the first picture is of a masked man that um, was creeping towards her door. See, are you sure that's not just Mariah before makeup? Oh, shady. Okay, so he, he was creeping towards her door, mm -hmm. and then he gets to the door, and on the door she has kind of put up this sign that says, not yet. Halloween-y blood, blood spatters. Okay, and then he opens, so you can see his hand, mm -hmm. he opens the door, mm -hmm. and inside we have Mariah. There she is, oh. waiting for Christmas. And she goes, it's time! And then it starts playing, um, I wish it could be Christmas every day, which isn't her song, and everyone's <laughs> so sick of that, <laughs> that they play that one instead. A bit of Slade. <laughs> yeah, a bit of Slade. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Apparently there's going to be another version of All I Want for Christmas this year. Muted? No, she's going to have um, Ariana Grande in it. Okay. And somebody else, which I can't remember. Okay. Who is. Probably Michael Bublé. I've made that up. But he tends to come... <laughs> he tends to come out at Christmas. <laughs> Every, as soon as it gets to December, he's there going, yes, I'm homosexual, January, back in the closet. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he just goes into hibernation in, in his cave. And, and when it becomes Christmas time, the cave door rolls open mm -hmm. and he kind of comes out ready to sing Christmas songs. Yeah, I've, I've seen him in concert in a June time. Okay, you have been to see Michael Bublé in concert. Yes, I got to touch him. Did you? <laughs> not, did in a, not in a rude way. Did you just, what did it feel leant, like? He leant over and he had his hand out, so I went... What did it feel like, Mike? Like someone's sweaty hand. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, so... Who knew Mike was a secret Michael Bublé fan? Oh, it was a free ticket. I didn't pay to go. Mm -hmm. said, Do you want a free that's ticket? What, that's what, that's what people right. in denial always say stuff like that. It was a free ticket. Uh, I they wasn't, they get, you know, got me food and booze. They said they were going to kill my family if I didn't go. But, yeah. Whatever. Anyway, so moving on from, from Mariah, mm -hmm. Mazza, um, we've got some RuPaul Drag Race UK Season 2 news. Ooh. Woo, woo, woo. It's a klaxon. Oh, okay. um, so this is a picture of the cast of last year's, the first. Uh-huh. Um, 
Drag Race UK, which the Vivian won technically, mm -hmm. um, where, but we felt that, you know, Davina should have. Davina should have won. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, RuPaul has been sort of putting tweets about saying that they are now recording mm -hmm. season two, uh, which is going to be shown early next year. So that's really not very long off. Um, and they're also, at the same time, casting for season three. They're not waiting around. They don't. RuPaul's a machine, though. Mm -hmm. Literally, it'll be a RuPaul. Drag race, drag race, drag race, drag race. Like it Do was you last think year. it's because she's not got that long left? <laughs> yes, Lee has just broke the news that RuPaul's about <laughs> and to she's, die. She's got to get him in before she corks it. No, I before think... she turns to dust. <laughs> <laughs> a bit too far for that. Um, um, yeah. But I think, no, she does put them out every single year. If you think about in the US, they did a couple of years where it was Drag Race All-Stars, Drag Race All-Stars, mm. Drag Race all and it was non-stop. Okay. Well, they're, they're, they're adapting to the times. Okay. So we have spoken about in, in other shows where um, the, the judges are going to be the same. Mm -hmm. So we've got, obviously, RuPaul, we've got Michelle Visage, we've got Alan Carr, and we've got Graham Norton. Mm -hmm. I wasn't a fan of Graham Norton. No. Norton. no. Not a um, fan. So, yeah. Um, and then we've spoken about... Dawn French has announced that she is going to be one of the judges. Yes. Um, but apparently, she has let slip during the filming that they asked her to kind of be a permanent judge when they were first filming it, and oh. she just couldn't, she didn't have the time to do it. Oh. Um, so we, we've, we've got a picture of, of Dawn French here, which, which is my, I, I want her to go dressed like that. <laughs> if she's not sat there behind a Perspex screen dressed like that, I'd be really upset. So what is that outfit? That, that is from when she was in Panto. Okay. So she did Panto a couple of years ago. Um, with no other news about who else is going to be a judge, none of that kind of stuff. Um, but RuPaul has said that um, we're looking forward to the return of RuPaul's Drag Race UK early in 2021. Season two will arrive with all the hope, joy, laughter and glitter you've come to expect from our brilliant queens. Yeah. No prizes and no money. Is it still on BBC? Yes. Yeah. So no prizes. So RuPaul said that she's coming back. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And they're doing two and three in the UK. Not yeah. Not back to back. So okay. they're recording season two now. Right. So that's being filmed, mm -hmm. and then they're casting for season three. Right. Okay. So the season two people are already in seclusion. Yes. Okay. So I now need to go through my social media and find who's missing. Oh. Okay. Unless they pull out people that I've never heard of again. Could be. So if, if you know, if you are friends with a drag queen who suddenly disappeared, mm -hmm. it might be worth Checking kind of in. finding out. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. they're not allowed to say anything, are they? They just go. They're not, they're under embargo. Mm. Can they not even tell, like, who they live with? So, like, if they're married or nope. if they live... So if you think about people like Willem... Yes. Yeah, I had to tell her husband, or his husband at the time, that going overseas to film a, a B-rate movie, and it's only because the husband went... I'm going to surprise you, and turned up and went, why is all your drag stuff here, and that, that came I out. think, to be fair, if you are friends or in a relationship with the drag queen and they suddenly disappear and take all their drag stuff with you, pretty much guarantee that they're going to be on Drag Race UK. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> final bit of showbiz news. If I said the name Stanley Baxter to you, would you have any idea who that was? Wasn't he famous for doing soups and knives? No. No. Then no. no, it wouldn't mean anything it to you. It wouldn't me. mean anything to no. you. So for a generation of people who are not in their first flush of youth, okay. um, me, um, they will know who Stanley Baxter is. So Stanley Axter. Stanley Axter. <laughs> <laughs> um, famous for, for chopping down trees. Yeah. yeah. Stanley Baxter was this kind of sort of like... 50s, 60s, 70s, sort of celebrity comedian. We've got a picture of him here. Um, so that's how he is now on the left. That's him with his wife. Are you sure that's not Harry Enfield? No. <laughs> As an old git. Yeah, um, yeah he, he was kind of like... Um, a bit like... I want to say a bit like Kenny Everett. OK. He did, like, lots of skits. Lots of kind of female impersonations. Anyway, at the age of 94, mm -hmm. he has just come out oh, cool. as being gay. So what he said was that back in the day, mm. he, it wasn't really acceptable for him to be an open gay man. Okay. Um, so he married a woman. Mm -hmm. And with her blessing, um, he brought men home. 
Okay. So they have this kind of understanding that they were married, but he could bring some rough trade home. Um, I don't know whether he had to let her know first. Kind of like... <laughs> Put it in the calendar. Yeah. Hello, dear. Going to bring some rough trade home. Is that all right? Got a pie in the fridge. Yeah. All right, bye. We've got a picture of him in his kind of... Um, one of his outfits. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Very understated. Very understated. Kind of like, that's kind of like an early RuPaul, isn't it? In many ways. Yes. Or very few. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just wearing a wig. Yeah. Still <laughs> a man in a wig. He's kind of in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he, he's got a book out that's kind of talking about his life. Um, and, and he was saying that, you know, it, it, at the time, he just, it, it wasn't the, the done thing to come out as being gay. Um, sad thing about it is, I found... Um, so he's kind of said, anybody would be insane to choose to live such a difficult life. And he said, I never wanted to be gay and I still don't. Okay. Which is a bit sad. Um, he, in late, so he's 94 now. Mm -hmm. He's not really been on television for very many years. Um, he did do a version of the Queen's speech. So we've okay. got a picture of him, he addressed as, as Queen Elizabeth. Uh -huh. um, he 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 was one of those celebrities where in the kind of like 60s mm. he was arrested for um, being in a public toilet and doing Rudy Doody stuff oh uh, which was illegal mm -hmm. in those days and it kind of ended his career for quite a while um, and then his, his lawyer apparently managed to get him off the charge and it was all kind of forgotten so his lawyer um, got him off um, he did um, so yeah so uh, and I think uh, 94 that's you know, it kind of goes to prove that, you know, you don't have to be young to no. come out at any well, stage of your life. Yeah. Bit sad that he thinks that he would never, he wouldn't want to be gay. But well, it's, about, it's about the choice thing. Does anybody really want to choose a more difficult life? I don't think anyone would. Yeah. yeah but that's why it's not a choice, so it's okay. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I just thought that was quite interesting yeah. of, of gay history. Um, and, that, and that is the end of the showbiz news for this week. Well, thank you, Lee. Coming up soon, we have our life lesson. But before that, we find out the results of his Google search with Mike and the Buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now it's time to go over to the man who believes he can fly. He believes he can touch the sky. Thinks about it every night and day. It's Mike with the buzz. <laughs> Were you quoting our Kelly at me then? It was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting, different, unique. Um, so I've been having a bit of a rummage through my Google history. Oh. Okay. Um, and I found a couple of different things. All right. Now, the first one is some news. News. Some news, OK. And I have to say, do not try this at home, people. Mm. OK. And that's when firefighters have been called to rescue three men from inside an industrial tumble dryer. Seems legit. It does, yeah. <laughs> so what's happened is in a, an abandoned factory, big tumble dryer, three lads in Essex went, I bet I can get in that. Oh, and they could. Oh, they could. They right. couldn't get out again. No. Because, of course, what, how do you open a tumble dry door? From the outside with oh. a clip. Oh. I thought they'd, they'd changed that because of all the accidents. Exactly, they have. But not However, those ones. Not these ones because it was an abandoned factory. Oh. So you're not going to fix something that's. So it wasn't that a used. sexual thing? It wasn't a sexual thing. Oh. They were just, just exploring and being urban explorer kind of people. Oh, you see, I've gone straight dryer. to. Three men naked in a tumble dryer, firemen come. Oh, baby, oh. yeah. Um, <laughs> so, no, it was a genuine accident. <laughs> well, it was, a, it was a, a fun time going awry. It's just the fun time was climbing inside tumble dryers. OK. And it wouldn't have been able to go around no, because there was no power. No. So they just got in there, the door clicked, and they went, we can't get out. <laughs> so they had to shout the mum, you know, to come and save them. Oh. Right, so end up getting the police and then some medical attention. Oh, were they injured? No, just that, obviously because they've been in a tumble dryer for some time. Oh. Yeah, so I had to have, be checked out and make sure they're all okay. Fluffy, and, dry. Fluffy, dry. A <laughs> little bit of bounce in the step. Oh. oh. Um, other laundry things are available. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, all okay though. 
perfectly fine. And what they've done is they've taken the jaws of life to the machines, the firemen. Ooh. So you cut big holes in it, so Ooh. you can't get locked in it again. Oh, so nobody else can do it. Nobody else can do it. Oh, which is good news. Were they? How old were these boys? Um, they weren't boys. Oh, were they adults? Oh, they were all over the age of eighteen. Oh, yeah. They, as I said, they were urban exploring. Oh, which is apparently dangerous. Well, yeah. So, yeah. Um, don't don't climb into a large household appliances. Is my my tip for that one. Mm -hmm. Stick to freezers. No, don't get inside of freezers. Ignore Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Do not climb. <laughs> Do not crawl, crawl inside any household appliances. No. At all. Don't. Um, let's move on. Mm. So here's something I think you'll appreciate, Lee. Okay. And this is a story about a teenager who only ate chicken nuggets and chips for 15 years. Yeah. What are you trying to say? Chicken nuggets and chips are amazing. Oh, okay. You do you like, not like chicken nuggets and chips? Yeah, but I thought you were kind of like alluding to the fact that that's all I ate. No, I know you eat a, a wide variety of foods. Like a wide variety of beige foods. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But who doesn't love chicken nuggets and chips? Yeah, but every day every for, meal 15 for 15 years. years. It's, yeah. It's, it's a lot of chicken nuggets and chips. Yeah. yeah. Um, good news is she's had some help from a hypnotherapist. Oh, shit. Yes. To hypnotise her into eating peas. Um, and now she thinks peas. she's an actual chicken nugget. She does, yes. Run around going, Don't eat me! <laughs> 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 Jumping into deep fat fries very <laughs> yes. Yeah. Squeezing tomatoes and stuff. <laughs> um, okay. <Yeah>. So <laughs> <laughs> But weirdly, she wasn't a fan of the fast food ones. It was the ones home in freezer home ones that she preferred. Oh. And oven chips. Oh. Which okay. I found a bit weird. Did she have like um like um Okay. <laughs> a small piano. <laughs> did you? <laughs> when she played, <laughs> give me some more chicken nuggets. No, did you have like a vitamin deficiency? At the end of it, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but is that not what like, caused the craving for chicken nuggets and chips? Or was she just lazy? Just a picky eater. Oh, okay. She, it was about textures with her, and the only texture she could cope with were chicken nuggets and chips. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. like with cock. You're right. Um, I, I do prefer the consistency of cock. Yes. So I, she's fine now. She's fine. She's started to eat a more ver varied diet now, um, so she's eat a lot more healthily, which is great news. I would imagine that if you eat this, that for the for 15 years, your like bones and stuff won't be particularly great. No, not as a teenager, because that's when you're doing a lot of your growing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, yeah. But but thankfully she's got the help, and now she's eating a more balanced lifestyle. She's eating a more balanced lifestyle. She's eating a more balanced lifestyle. She's there going, oh, look, a bit of sport. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> oh, look, there's, there's some painting. Nom, 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 nom. No, no, with friends. Oh, nom, 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 yeah. Nom. yeah, that kind of thing. Well, we've all done that with friends, haven't we? Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> okay, another little story. Now, you're not a big drinker. No. No, apart from that advocat at Christmas. Don't even like that. Baby sham. Baby, see, I like Baby Sham. Baby Sham on the rocks. Ooh, sophisticated. Baby Sham on the rocks. On ice. I don't know what on the rocks means, but why are you adding ice to Baby Sham? Because it's sophisticated. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah, it is. In your Baby... <laughs> in your Baby Sham glass. You just baby... keep the bottle in the fridge. No, it's nice. It's you, a, it's you put a... your ice in it, and you, pour, and, then you, and then you have a little plastic Baby Sham deer that goes over the thing. Ooh, sophisticated. In 1973. Not in the 1930s. Anyway, um, the good news is you can now join, join in with the rugby mates when you're down the pub um, and have a Guinness. Uh. Yeah, grr. But an alcohol-free Guinness. Oh. So you can still drive afterwards. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Guinness have finally come away of making their stout a 0% alcohol. Oh, okay. Because all, of, all of Guinness is basically is a way of getting you drunk and full. Yeah. Yeah. It's thick, isn't it? It's thick and creamy, and I mm. quite like it. I don't like Guinness. Do you not? No. I went to Dublin and I went to the Guinness factory. Okay. Yeah, and the, the, when you get to the very top, you can have, they give you like um, a, a Guinness to drink. Mm. -hmm. mm not yeah. nice, thick. <laughs> wheaty. It is wheaty. Mm. I like it. You like it? Yes. I like something you can put in your mouth and chew. Don't we all? And if something grabs you by the lovelies and say, or you, I'm funny, why not share it with us? Just give us a tag using the Could TV on all of your social media services slash platforms. See the spin around at the bottom of the screen? Clever that, isn't it? And that brings us quite nicely onto Story of the Week. 
Lee, yes. have you ever been up a mountain? In a car? In a car? Yeah. Okay. While you were going up your mountain, um, when she, were you going round the mountain? When she comes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> were you? Um, were you pestered by goats? No. No? Okay, that's interesting. Not often. I'm not Shakira. <laughs> what is that reference? I don't know. What is Shakira goats? She sounds like a goat when she sings. That's, yeah. Right, okay. Um, well, if I showed you this picture... Okay. What does that look like that's happening to those lovely little goats? Well, I don't even know if there's goats. Yes. Are they, are they hanging from the helicopter? They're being airlifted. Oh, bless okay. them. Why? Because in America, they're having to be removed from mountains. Oh. As they are continually pestering people. Pestering. Pestering. Yes, they're pestering hikers for their salty urine. Aren't you getting confused with goats and, like, people? No, goats. Go actual goats. Goats are going over to people hiking and camping and right. headbutting them. Not like somebody dressed as a goat no, going, I like goats. your salty urine. No, so, so what's happened is um, the goats have, have been farmed. And some have escaped and then wild oh, and they're not natural in the area. Not a natural no. habitat. No. And of course, what do goats love to lick? Salty piss. Salt? No, just salt. Just salt. They like to lick salty rocks. And because there's no naturally occurring salty rocks, okay. they're finding other, other forms of salt. And that's sweat and pee. Oh, okay. Hikers. So that some people have actually been hurt by these goats headbutting them continually while they're trying to have a wee. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that the part decided let's we need to remove the goats, and the best way of doing that is to airlift them. Not just kind of like shoot them. Some have been shot. Oh no! Oh. Yes, I think they call it a culling. A culling. Yes. Oh. Um, but some have been and basically been removed and then put in a nice little sanctuary. Oh, is that like what, like what you tell your children when the pet dog dies? Yeah. They've gone to the farm and yeah. they're going to have a really happy life. Where have the goats gone up, kept headbutting me every time I had a tinkle? Well, they've gone to a new, new little farm. Oh, and they're going to have a lovely life. And in reality, they were put in a giant shot put and then let go and they went, Aah! and wherever they landed, <laughs> there was that was squish. their new home. <laughs> Shot put in a goat where they land, it's gonna They're be quite hardy animals. Not that hardy, <laughs> <laughs> not made of rubber. <laughs> I like the idea of them flying, flying goats. Yeah, anyway, um, thanks for that. Don't touch that remote control, as coming next is this week's life lesson. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time for this week's... Life Lessons. What's with the, the hand gestures? Keeping it street. Mm. Oosh. Yeah, you're so street, you're in Avenue. Anyway, don't, don't start with me. This week, I'll, I thought I'd teach you some origami. Oh, the ancient art of paper folding. Exactly. Um, but do you realise how difficult origami is? Well, you know, it depends what you're making. Well, I, I went for an origami penis. Arori Rami Penis. Arami Penis. It's uh, difficult to say. Like, it is, is it? It's like Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Um, so I couldn't do that. Oh. So it's something simpler like a crane. And I couldn't do that. Do either. that either? No. Oh. So, so many sheets of paper have been wasted. Just going to fold it in half and make a card. So, uh, no, we're going to do something a little bit more fun. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to tell you what we're making. No. But we're just going to follow some simple instructions to make it. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to start with a sheet of A4 paper. I've got some green. I have some red. Oh. And the colour of my soul. Yes. Um, and what I want you to do is having it, um, you call this horizontally? I call yeah. it in, in landscape. I'm so, I just I was caught off guard when you said you I want you to have it. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> have I it. You, I want you to fold it in half. For me. Okay. Yeah. So if you could fold that for me in half. There we go. And as close to exact as you can be, because the important thing is to be as exact as possible. Okay. The folds are important in 
Origami, they aren't are they? indeed, yes. There we go. I know what we're going to do is slightly unfold it, and then we're going to fold the lo these edges into the middle. Oh, okay. Okay. Folding into the middle. Did you ever make one of those um, fortune tellers when you were at school? The 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 red, blue, green. Ones, yeah, you go. Give me ones. give me a number, and you and. One, two, three, and um, that kind of stuff. Yes, I did. And you used to fold it out, and there was like a message. Mm -hmm. Like, everybody hates you. And it was always, there'll be chips for lunch again. Oh. We went to a very boring school. Okay. So I have done, I have done okay. what you requested. So now when you unfold it, you should have four segments. I do. Lovely. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use the, the middle fold yeah. and we're going to make a point. So we're going to bring this corner over to the middle. Okay. But instead of stopping there, we're then going to pull it to that line. Okay. So you should end up with... Oh, I see it. So you point down at the bottom yeah. and then your corner hitting the sec this, this line here. The first line? The first line, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then on the other side? And then on the other side, yes. Okay. I'm doing it wrong, Mike. Let's, let's see. Yeah, you are doing it wrong. So you want... So you put your, your corner over like that. Yeah. So you get the middle. Yeah. And then you're just going to scooch it across to that line. To the middle, and then scooch it across to there. Yeah. Is that wrong? That's right, yes. Is it? Now, this is one of the simplest things I could find in origami, so I'd be thankful I didn't do the penis. <sighs> I don't think mine's going to work properly. I'm sure it will. Okay. Now what we're going to do now is using that point yeah. and this new corner that we've just made, yeah. yeah, we're going to fold that into the middle. It's all very masculine, isn't it? It is. Lots of folding and... Okay. Yeah. So you've, you've now got like a like a, a pointed yeah. an arrow. Lovely. Yeah. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to unfold what you've just folded up. Okay. And these edges, so the first folds that we made, you're going to fold the other way. So, go, so that what you end up with is that. Yeah? Fold it where? Oh, right, okay. So, reverse fold. <laughs> Let me see where you're up to. Not quite. So, <laughs> so what you, you started off with this, which is a, a piece of paper with no flap. So what we're going to do is take this fold out and fold it over, like that. I don't, I don't, I don't think I have that flap. You do have that flap. So that, so... <laughs> so if you unfold Help me, you bitch! <laughs> I can't, if you unfold everything flat. Yes. Okay, so you've got a very long fold. Yeah. And then a fold that's about halfway down. Yeah. Okay. You want to fold the long fold in. And then the fold that goes down your middle line. Yeah. You're going to fold outwards. Outwards. Okay. Which is what I did. Okay. And I do the other side as well.
Okay, lovely. And now what we're going to do is fold that whole thing in half. God. So it's a bit like an arrow. Okay. And so you want the folds to be so your flappy bits are on the outside. This is a lot of work, man. It is a lot of work. It's, it's an ancient art form. Okay. Is it a mouse? It's better than a mouse. Okay. And then, if you like flat, you're going to fold these arms over. Oh, I know what we're making. <laughs> How disappointing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you can just throw it. So you just throw it gently and it'll go quite far. See? <laughs> Just give it a gentle throw. See, aren't they good aeroplanes? Yeah, it's great that. Yeah, you realise that just took you eight minutes to make a paper aeroplane. Yeah, it did. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, I'm, I am disappointed because, you know, of all the things that we could have made. I mean, to be fair, if that could look like a whale's penis. Are they naturally spear-shaped? The ones I have had, yes. The ones you have had. Saying me and Moby Dick. Mm hmm. So, what is a whale's penis called, called Lee? It's called a gonk. No, it's not. A geek. No. A dork. It's a dork. <laughs> well done. Third time to chat. All after, of the words I've described after, to you. After lovely um, Gary turned around and told you the answer. Can I have mine back, please? Because yours is very foldy foldy. You're not allowed because I have infected it with corona. Oh, okay. So, I've got to keep them both. Okay, you keep them both. Yeah. I'm just. I'm, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to. I was going to show you another little trick you can do with them then. It's too late, I'm not interested anymore. Because if you fold the wings down again, they return to you. They boomerang. Do they? Yeah. It's a shame. And please remember to keep sending us messages or funny stories you find on the internet. You never know, we might include them on the show. We're all over the internet, like crabs on a prostitute. Just search for The Could TV on social media, the TV for our website, and while you're there, have a look at our support section for exclusive clips and outtakes. And like the out-of-date condom under the bedside table of life, we've just enough time to show you our photo of the week, which comes from Mo Lister from Sikapu Idapo. Imagine how disappointed I was when my partner offered me a nut kiss and all I got was this bar of chocolate. Ooh, I don't know. I'd quite like to kiss them nuts myself. I guess can't be choosers. Mm. Well, that brings us to the end of this week's show. Stay safe, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.